Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of HOT. Today, I have a special unboxing video for you. These are the Ray-Ban stories. These are actually a partnership between Ray-Ban and Facebook. You may have seen articles and things going around about new Facebook smart glasses. Th that's basically what these are. These are Ray-Bans, um, which well-known, you know, brand out there. And they are in partnership with Facebook where they have cameras on them. So you can one, take pictures and videos direct from like a point of view shot while wearing the glasses. And two, you can actually use these for listening to music or audio calls. These are basically like Bluetooth, uh, you know, headphones and microphones built in uh, as well. So you can take calls and things directly from the glasses. But most importantly, the thing that, that you know, really appealed to me about this as well is these are not your previous type of, you know, smart glasses with cameras that like always had a distinct look to them. These look much more like normal glasses. And so it, it kind of style wise uh, is more appealing, you know, I think. And so I wanted to get this because I thought it, it looked really cool and it was um, a decent price for what they are, $299.99, uh, which, you know, for, for these type of glasses with, with recording capabilities and, and, you know, music, audio, all that kind of stuff, I thought it was, it was worth that price. Um, and I wanted to check these out. So we're going to do an unboxing and some quick impressions as well. But I also want to give a shout out uh, to my cousin, Sara, who actually works at Facebook and worked on this project specifically uh, as well. So I just think that's really, really cool. So shout out to, uh, to Sara. On, uh, uh, on this project. Congratulations on the launch of uh, the Ray-Ban stories. So without further ado, let's take a look at the box here. So uh, really nice, you know, sleek looking packaging. I've never had a pair of Ray-Ban, so um, these are, you know, kind of a bit fancier for me. Um, and so these are the Wayfarer glasses I got. There's different uh, options, by the way, for frames and lenses, and you can actually have prescription lenses added in here. Now, I don't normally wear glasses, um, I actually used to a while ago and I would wear contacts and that and then I got LASIK so um, I don't usually wear glasses uh, and so my thought was I could I could get these um, as true pairs of sunglasses with like the darker lenses but then I thought about it and I was like well one summer's kind of ending so I'm not really going to be able to use these too much but also I don't know that I necessarily want it just in that use case I kind of want it for more everyday kind of usage. Like I said, I could, I could record videos of my son from a point of view standpoint, because if he sees my phone, sometimes he gets distracted. So if I'm just wearing these and recording, you know, and getting capturing those special moments, I think that could be a lot of fun. So I got clear lenses in, in mind, but again, there's different variations, different styles. You can check the website on what is offered there. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. So inside, as you can see, it says glasses, we got a charging case, USB-C cable, uh, pouch, and that's pretty much it. So then this side has like your, you know, serial number and stuff. And then right here, Ray-Ban Stories features dual cameras, uh, open ear audio, and pairs with the Facebook View app to edit and share your content. So you can actually share and edit the content directly in that app as well, and then post, you know, wherever you uh, may desire. So there you go, lots of stuff going on there. Uh, I got your made for iPhone logo, which I do have. So let's just open up the plastic here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I like the look of, uh, look of this. So this little tab here, I guess, will help us slide right out. Oh no, I do have to peel this as well. So let's peel that off. That was very satisfying actually. And uh, there we go. Ooh, check that out. This feels really nice. Like the just the packaging already, you know, feels pretty premium in a way, you know? Ooh, check that out. That's pretty cool. All right, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna take a look at those in just a second. I just wanna put that to the side real quick. So in here, it says download the Facebook View app. Um, so that's where you can view and edit, you know, everything that you have gotten for pictures and videos. So inside you have a few different things. There's a reference guide, um, which basically shows you how to do various things. So for example, 
there's a couple buttons on this thing. So there's the button, press once to record video, press again to stop, press and hold for a photo, uh, for controlling playback, uh, tap once to play or pause, double tap, skip forward, triple tap to skip back. You can also adjust volume. There's like a touch sensor there. So you swipe back to turn down volume, swipe forward to turn up volume, manage calls, double tap to answer, double tap to end, tap and hold to reject. Uh, you can even activate um, Facebook Assistant, you know, just by saying, hey, Facebook. So if you want to start recording, you can just say, you know, hey, Facebook, start recording, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't think that I'll probably use that too much, but it's there. And then there's actually a charging case, which has an LED. So it will show you uh, when glasses need to charge. Orange, not fully charged. Green, fully charged. Very straightforward. And then on the other side shows you again all the different pieces to the glasses as well. So, um, like I said, the power switch is on the inside there. Uh, on the right side at the top, you have your capture button, which was for the recording as well. You'll see the cameras are in the front. Uh, the touchpad is on the, the right side there, which is what you can use for like the volume, for example. Um, and there is a little LED on one side of the camera. So if you're concerned about like, for example, privacy, how do you know if someone's recording you? Well, if you see the glasses, that will light up to let you know that like a video is being recorded, for example. There are speakers as well, um, all throughout the back there and a microphone. Um, and uh, there's a notification um, LED on the inside as well. Facebook View app, again, it's just showing you the, the power switch, and there you go. So I wanted to walk through that so you all know how this works, um, but that's that. And then you have this, this little pouch right here, and you do have, again, the USB-C charging cable. There is no uh, charging brick, so if you, if you need the brick, um, you're gonna have to, to get that as well. Uh, I feel like that seems to be kind of standard nowadays is um, the brick usually comes separate, but there it is. And there is the Ray-Ban case right there. Um, feels very, very nice. Again, you have your USB-C right there to charge. Uh, and there is the LED indicator. And here we go. Check that out. Um, well, there's this little tab in there. Um, cool. Let's just slide this right off. And we have the Ray-Ban Stories. So this is what I ended up choosing. Again, the clear, um, lenses. And they, I mean, they look like your normal pair of glasses. Really, the, the main indicators are just on the sides there, the, the cameras as well. It does say Ray-Ban right there. Okay. Ray-Ban. On this side. So there's that capture button that I was talking about right there. Uh, this side, I believe, is that touch sensor. Um, so it's just kind of just a part of you don't you don't see it, but it's it's there. Um, the inside here says uh, Ray-Ban Stories Wayfarer Luxottica made in China. There's the notification LED right in that corner. Um, there you go, power switch right there. The cool thing about this as well, by the way, um, and then there's like speakers down here as well, is the way that this charges is you just literally set it right in the case. And what you may or may not notice about this, uh, which I think is, is worth pointing out, I'm trying to figure out the best way this slides in or not. Does this just go in? Does that close like that? Yeah, okay. Um, so on this side, you have the connector to charge. This side doesn't. So basically, as you can see right there, so this just, sits right in. There is a little bit of a magnet, so it will kind of guide you right to it, and that will help the glasses charge. So there you go. Pretty cool. Uh, so let me get this thing kind of charged up and set up, and uh, we'll do a little demo. All right, so I had to kind of get my setup going because this room is a little bit of a mess as I've been working on different videos and a bunch of stuff going on. So I put the green screen behind me, not to put actually anything on it, but just to have as a background so you don't see the mess behind this. So that being said, uh, what I wanted to do is try on the Ray-Ban Stories and do a little video so that you can actually see what that looks like in real time uh, as well. So. 
Uh, I'll put these on and you can see what it looks like on myself uh, right there. Um, it makes a little sound once it goes on, so it must have a sensor or something to know to know that. Uh, these these were already on before I put them on, by the way. I turned them on, So, but when you place them on your face, it makes a little sound. Uh, so, yeah, this is what it looks like in case you were curious. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. I'm not used to myself with glasses in, in quite a long time. I had glasses back in high school, I think, for a bit. Uh, and then I, you know, quickly went to contact lenses, that sort of thing. Um, and even sunglasses, I usually get, like I said, the darker shade and kind of a uh, slightly different style to these. Uh, but I wanted something that, again, was more of a general use case. Uh, I think the thing with these is they're a bit of a kind of a thicker frame than what I am personally used to, but it's not bad. And also, I'm just not used to them with a beard as well. What I will say, this is all, I'm really just commenting on my own looks rather than really anything else because it, it's all subjective, right? I will say with a hat, I feel like it works a little bit better. Is it just me? I don't know. Maybe with the hat and the, the shades, the glasses here, I mean, I think it, it might work a little better. Um, your mileage may vary on that, so you guys let me know in the comment section below what, what, what you think of my appearance. You guys judge me and tell me what you think of that. Uh, I'm just going to leave the hat on because I feel like it works better. Uh, but as you can see, even the clear lenses have that slight kind of um, bluish uh, uh, tint to it. Um, and in practice, when you're actually looking around, I mean, things might get a, a, a shade darker, very little, but it's mostly, you know, normal. It's not going to be like turning really dark or whatever like some other colored lenses are that you can select. Again, if that's what you want, if you really want the full-on like sunglasses, you can do that. Um, just kind of your, your preference. And, you know, I, I almost feel like depending on the light, the cameras and stuff sort of blend in a little bit, which, you know, could be good or bad in, 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 in whatever way, you know, you want, I guess. Um, so, Here's what I will do. Let's take a quick picture. Uh, so I'll just kind of take a picture of the camera and you'll be able to see it right here. So I'm going to hold it down. And it snapped a picture. Uh, you probably saw it light up as well. The inside LED also lit up uh, so I could kind of see that out of the corner of my eye. Um, so I'll, you know, post the picture and you can see what that looks like. It's not the greatest quality, but it, it works. It, it certainly does work. So next, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to record a video. So when you hit record, I think it records up to 30 seconds, or you can manually stop it before that as well. And you're just going to see the camera. Um, but I'm actually going to, you know, download the video and I will put it up side by side. So as I'm recording and talking, I will put up the video for you to see side by side so you can actually see it in real time. Know that there's no way currently to like live show you my view even in the app itself you can't preview the view that would have been a nice feature to be able to actually see what you're looking at to know if you're looking you know what if everything is in frame or whatever. Um, you can only import the pictures and videos after the fact um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, you're going to see it kind of in real time. So I'm going to hit record here. I, tr I didn't set up the, the Hey Facebook stuff, by the way. I just didn't want stuff accidentally getting triggered all that. But you can do that. I'm just going to hit the button here. So now I am recording. So what you are seeing currently is basically uh, the camera setup that I use for my reviews, my Canon EOS 70D. You can see myself in the, uh, the little screen there. And that's kind of my preview. I have it on the tripod as well. And then down here is actually where I was filming. As you can see, my setup with the boxes and things that I had on my phone sitting right here, iPhone 12 Pro Max. So you kind of get the idea of, of what you're looking at. And the cool thing is with this, you know, I kind of reach down and let's say I wanted to take an up close look. Oh, did it stop recording? Oh, did I go over 30 seconds? I probably went over 30 seconds. All right. I didn't even pay attention. Time goes by real quick and I like to ramble. Let's do another video. It started recording, you can see the LED indicator. I was gonna show something up close, so let's say I'm looking at a Pokemon card. One thing I noticed is let's say I naturally might look at something like here. For the camera, it might be a little bit lower in frame, so you might wanna hold it up a teeny bit, just because the camera is just a little bit above eye level, so if you want something to truly be level, just be thinking about that, but otherwise I feel like it works pretty well. So there we go, let's stop it. So you should be able to see what that actually looks like um, in the video clip that I showed you. But the way that it works after the fact, just so you know, 
is you have the, the Facebook View app right here, basically. And I'm just going to go and hit Import. And it's going to load in the three things right there. Uh, it asks if you want to join the, the Wi-Fi network that it's creating to connect to the glasses. And it's going to take a little bit of time. It's circling right there. But then the photo and the videos will pop right up. And so very quickly, you can just go into here and you can see, for example, there's the picture, you know, that I took right there that I showed you and, and the video clips are loading as well. And then what you can do with the video clips is uh, you can basically go in and there's a few different things that you can do. Oh, it's actually playing back and I'm hearing it through the glasses, so I'm going to pause it. But basically you can share it, download it, you can even do some edits and modifications directly in here. So if I click on that, for example, I can adjust, enhance, crop, there's a lot you can do. Um, you can click on this as well and you can create a montage by selecting more than one video capture and combining it as well. Um, so lots that you can do for editing directly in the, uh, in the little app as well. So that is one use case, like I said, as well. And I'm sorry I don't have the best lighting here just because I had enough space to put my lights there. Um, but the other thing that I do want to test is playing some uh, music as well, which you won't really be able to hear, but I want to give my impressions of what that sounds like. So I'm going to play the Lucky Ones Deluxe uh, from Pentatonix, of course. And uh, let's, let's throw in some, uh, you know, let's just do Never Gonna Cry Again because it's got a good bass part to it as well. Alright, so I played it at about 50% volume uh, on my phone right now, and I hear it. It's certainly, the sound, this is really interesting. It's, it's right in my ears, but it, it's like hovering around my ears in a way. That's really interesting. I will say the bass is quite lacking. But I guess it's also not directly in your ear, so you know, it is gonna be, it's a little airy, if that makes sense. But I do feel like it's like a surround sound. So this is really cool, the, the big bass part's coming up. Okay, so this is really, and here we go. Yeah, you know, it's, it's almost like the bass feels like it's, I don't know how to describe it. You can hear it, but it's like a, an airy bass. Like it's like floating around you. It doesn't have the punch to it, you know? Um, but it certainly works. And if I take this off, um, I guess it, it stopped uh, playing. Uh, I was hoping to see if you could hear the volume. Did I hit the button? Oh wait, now I'm recording. I didn't mean to do record. It should, um, let me hit play again. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear that. I mean, it's it's a little noticeable, but it's not like super loud or intrusive. Um, so people around you probably aren't gonna be super disturbed by it, but when I was wearing it, it was pretty loud. Like it was a good enough experience and that's at 50% volume. So I feel like you can get a decent amount of volume listening to music without it bleeding out too much. I mean, you, you get a little bit of bleed, but, uh, but not too much, actually. Now, the cool thing about this, again, is the touch sensor, right? So I should be able to just take my finger. Oh yeah, I slid the volume up. And volume down, just like that. Very easy, actually. It's, it just works super well. That actually is really cool. And, and you tap and it pauses. Play again. That's really, really cool. So I, I got it wrong, sorry. The button was only for recording. This touch sensor is also the tapping part. So you just tap to pause, tap to play. It works, it certainly works. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna listen to music with this, I'm gonna be honest, but if I wanna, you know, if I'm wearing this and I wanna put up a quick video or something and the audio will all play from here and then I can record, I can just kinda just keep this on my face for a while. Uh, and naturally, if you get a call or anything, you don't you can just answer it right there. You don't have to worry about it. And so that's kind of a cool, neat little feature. Um, so I think these are really, really fun. I'm going to pause it right there, take this off. Overall, I mean, I think this is a, a cool product. I think 
it, the, the use case is really going to depend upon um, how much you really want kind of that point of view camera to be able to record things. I think the music and phone call thing, to be honest, to me is a secondary feature to what it is. Really the main focus is the cameras and the photos, videos, that sort of thing. So if that interests you, I think this is a solid product. I think the integration with uh, with Ray-Bans um, is great. I think like it, these look nice. These look like proper, you know, glasses and, and pretty impressive. So I do appreciate that. Um, the one thing that I do hope, and maybe this is going to be future iterations, is true when, when you think of like smart glasses, true augmented reality. I would love some additional like like actual augmented reality features. And I, I think that's probably where Facebook is heading with this. Uh, I believe this is just kind of their first step in trying to get more of this type of uh, uh, product out there, get people used to the idea of having the technology on your face wherever you want. Um, in, in, a, in a, a form factor that looks good and natural as well. Um, and I think they accomplished that. So let me know in the comment section below what you think as well. Um, but these are a pretty cool product. So that's my uh, thoughts on the Ray-Ban stories. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, take care and I will see you later.